Welcome to the All Things Wagner second edition of Pact vs. War Alaska version. We are on the last day, it's a sea day, of our Alaska cruise on Celebrity Solstice. And just like last year, we went in September on Ovation of the Seas with Royal Caribbean, we are going through what during the, this past week we actually packed and actually wore so that you can get an idea of what you might need to pack for an Alaska trip. First of all, two very important rules starting at the top. One is weather, weather, weather. It's of utmost importance and I'll explain to you later because we had an extremely warm week in Alaska this week, which I did not necessarily pack for. So the, let's just say you cruise Sunday to Sunday, for example, the Thursday, Friday before you obviously you'll be getting ready and packing and potentially leaving depending on how many days you're in your port of embarkation. Check the weather, go check the week outlook for the following week for your port cities. And that will help you determine a little bit better whether you need long sleeves or short sleeves or more shorts. Yes, shorts and t-shirts for Alaska. Saw a lot of them this week. Or if you need your big puffy coat or if maybe you just need a hoodie or a windbreaker, it will make all the difference in the world and it can save you a lot of packing room. The second rule is layer, 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 layer. That's the main rule of clothing for Alaska packing. <laughs> it's just so important because you never know what the weather's going to be. Let's say you do look at the weather. If plan A, look at the weather, fails and something else happens that wasn't clear on the weather radar a week before, right? Then you at least have some layers to put on or take off if you need to. The best, according to the, the weather experts, the mountain climbing, really cold weather experts that I investigated last year before our first Alaska cruise, is that the best way to apply those layers is a base layer, which is a very thin, like a wick away shirt of some sort, and or a thermal base layer if it's going to be cold, okay? So you have your base layer, and then you have your middle layer, which might be some like a light sweater weight, okay? Or some kind of light fleece. And then of course you have your coat, which could be a puffy coat or a wool coat. Okay, puffy coats are nice because one, they pack into the compression bags and they also are usually like water resistant, right? The water will just run right off of them. Let's get started with the actual, what we packed. All the Amazon links for these clothes will be down below. So as you know, the links take you straight to Amazon to that item. And then if you don't like that exact item, right, you can bounce around and search for a different item. They are affiliate links. We appreciate the support when you click on a link and buy anything, we get a little coffee money. So thanks so much. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start with all of women's clothes. I'm going to do all of my clothes first and then I'll do JJ's clothes toward the end. So I'm going to start with tops. What I brought. Let's just start with vests because if you watched last year's Pact versus War video, I wished I had brought more vests. And during the year, I actually bought more vests, mainly on Amazon, but some also on ThreadUp, which is a secondhand online store that I buy from. It's T-H-R-E-D-U-P, one word, threadup.com. I don't have a link and I'm not an affiliate, but it's a really good source for good clothing at lesser prices. So the vest that I bought, brought with me were this one. This is at least the second time I've worn this one. Along with this one, which is a real uh, nice, it's almost like a fleece, a velvet inside, puffy. And I got this from ThreadUp. This one I brought again, and it was, I think I got this at maybe a Bell's or at the town my mom and dad live in. I brought this one also. I did not wear this one at all. I wore the white one at least twice. 
and I brought this one also, which is kind of a different kind of vest. It's kind of longer, and I didn't really bring the pants. If you're a leggings girl, right, we'll talk about pants in a second, but if you're a leggings girl, things like this are nice. Uh, you know, it cinches at the waist if you have a waist to show off, right? And it's a hoodie, so it does keep you a little warmer. I also brought another vest. This is a vest I got from Amazon, and I loved it. I say I still love it. However, I leaned up against a railing up top near the pool deck that had just been painted and the wet paint sign was on the ground, which I did not see. So I walk up to the railing intent on my filming and I lean against the railing because the sign wasn't on the railing, it was on the ground. So I got paint on um, this, I don't know if you can see it or not, I got paint. I went immediately and tried to soap and water it out and it didn't work. And then I sent it to the laundry. They gave me a voucher at least for the laundry and they tried to get it out and it didn't come out. But it was one of my favorite jackets. It's, ha I mean, a vest. It has the little drawstrings here on the side. So it kind of um, cinches up a little like a waist. Um, and it's a little shorter. I absolutely loved it and it comes in a lot of colors and I got it on Amazon. I will be ordering another one in this. I can't remember if it's called orange or camel. I'll be ordering another one in this and probably a white one too because I liked the fit so much. I've learned because I don't live in a cold weather climate. We live in Texas and maybe two months out of the year it's anywhere from chilly to actually cold. Maybe three. We might get three chilly months. It's rarely really cold. So I don't have a lot of winter wear and I don't really know like my for my body type and my fashion sense, you know, my fashion preferences, how to dress for cold. So last year was a real education for me that I know now, basically this is a uniform for me, right? Pants, I have a waist, so I wear belts and <laughs> I brought belts and I'll show you these uh, like basket weave, you know, cotton shirts and and a vest and it's just basically been my uniform so if you really don't want to show your waist off but maybe you have nice skinny legs you might want to bring skinny jeans i don't do skinny jeans anymore right but you might and in that case then you might be wearing the short vests okay or you might be wearing tunics with your skinny jeans right so one rule about fashion and what to pack is to know your fashion sense and what you like to wear. If you live in a cold climate, you will already know that because you dress for that kind of weather four or five months out of the year. If you live in a sunny climate like me, it might take a lesson or two before you actually know what your cold weather style is. As long as we're talking about this um, knit weave shirt, I already had it in white. I bought it also in this off-white tan cream color and I bought it in red. I wore the white twice. I wore the cream probably twice and I haven't worn the red at all. So it comes in other colors too though and I really loved this. It was a great, I'm gonna say base layer because when I put um, a vest over it, uh, and that may be a jacket for you, right? It was perfect to go out on the deck. And then if we went into like the buffet, then I could take off this vest or the jacket or whatever. And you just have a normal like cotton layer shirt underneath. And so you're not super hot when you're inside. And it's still a little warm for outside. Thinner shirts, I bought these off Amazon. And they are like wick away gym shirts and their v-neck because I prefer the v-neck but they come in gray and black and this nice pink and white. I wore the white like day two and dropped coffee on it. Big coffee stain right here in the middle. I washed it in the sink and put it in the laundry. So these come in several colors too though. So if you like you know blues or greens or pastels or whatever this comes in a pack on Amazon and again everything that's from Amazon will be linked below. This is a good base layer. I wore the gray and the black and the white, which got stained. I also brought some other Wickaway workout shirts um, just because I really like this kind of thin Wickaway layer. Um, I brought two more of those that I also got and wear to the gym, also got on Amazon. So I will also link these below. They are like a crew neck. They're round neck instead of V-neck. Okay, so shirts, I last year bought this Red Dog Saloon in Juno at the Red Dog Saloon. And it's a nice 
kind of thin cotton just t-shirt material and I thought I might sleep in it or you know I might wear it under a vest or something I did not wear it but I was still glad I brought it because it still would be like a good weight to sleep in what I ended up sleeping in was this fleece I think I got at Academy I know I did because it's BCG brand a fleece just like pullover I ended up sleeping in this every night but one so sometimes your normal sleepwear especially if you're summer right now at home in the south is not going to be what you might sleep in in your cabin in Alaska or headed to Alaska especially depending on how cool or warm your partner keeps the cabin because obviously you'll have the doors closed however a couple of times even though the, obviously the patio doors were closed I could still feel the cold coming in when we were actually in cold climates uh, during our cruise so again just think about what um, bringing a couple of different sleepwear depending on what the weather might be like going on with tops I also brought this hoodie um, which I might have wore embarkation day also because when we got on board in Vancouver it was like in the 70s but then you know as the evening went on it got a little chilly so I wore this embarkation day as well as yesterday under a vest with a base layer and then this and then a vest over it so it was good for layering I also wore this to with that outfit with a vest over it to the dining room now let's go to sweatshirts I brought this which I got in the white and the pink and they are Hanes brand from Amazon I will link them below I wore these last year with like a button down tied around my waist you know with my leggings and my snow boots it was much cooler then I did not wear these this time because it just wasn't cold enough quite frankly but they come in handy it's just your basic women's kind of boxy actually sweatshirt but if you're a sweatshirt girl they are very nice and are a decent price of course because they're um, Amazon I also brought this sweater which is also Amazon and I wore this to a specialty dining one evening it is lightweight and really soft it almost feels like Angora or it's just really soft and I'm sure it's like a cotton polyester because again I got it from Amazon so I will link this below also they also have this in several different prints I did my video actually in an animal print that's the same sweater last year the pack versus war video of last year so um, I love this color the kind of tan camel color so I wore this and I may in fact wear it home again this is another tip what I did not think about was I brought one t-shirt that I wore embarkation day because it was warm in Vancouver well it's never going to be warm the rest of the week you're in Alaska eh, wrong I should have brought a couple of more t-shirts um, because again I, I didn't check the weather late enough in the week I kind of went on autopilot and just started packing my usual Alaska clothes and I should have brought a couple more t-shirts so I'm probably going to wear this home even though it's supposed to be 105 when we get home at DFW tomorrow <laughs> so I'll be jumping in the car and turning on the air conditioner the other tops that I wore again long sleeve button downs that are for colder weather I brought this denim shirt which I did not wear and I brought these three plaid shirts this is one of these is what I tied around my waist last year with that white sweatshirt you know and then with my leggings and my snow boots it was cute and I you know I felt comfortable in it plus I was warm and it's layers okay and the blue plaid and then a black and white plaid I wore the blue I did not wear either of the other plaids so I will probably bring less unless it's really going to be really cold but next year if it's about the same weather I will bring less button downs okay I think that's all the regular tops for women dress tops I brought this one shoulder off the shoulder tie shirt so it goes like this I'll show you a picture actually here this goes up on the top of your arm so it's a off the shoulder and I got this on Amazon as well I believe it comes in different colors too so I wore this to wear with a pair of slacks that I'll show you and I might as well show you that now because I think we're going to pants okay these are the dress pants that I bought and I got these at Shein 
S-H-E-I-N. These are dress pants. They are lined. I don't know if you can see that. They're lined down to about here because they're white. So I brought these and then here in a camel, camel brown color. And I wore these with a blouse that I got on Shein that's also a off the shoulder. I wore this for our first specialty dinner. Okay, and it's the same exact color as this. It just happened to be, I did not buy them together, but they happen to be the same color. And one of the guys in the jewelry store just kept going on and on. Oh, you look so nice. Of course he wanted us to buy a watch, but he might've also thought the clothes from Shein were nice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually going to wear these again with this white blouse tonight because we have our last specialty dining um, dinner tonight. On to the casual pants that I brought. The other time we went to a specialty dining was when I wore this sweater with a pair of white jeans. So the specialty dining on this ship, again, this is Celebrity Solstice, is smart casual. So jeans were no big deal. And in fact, we the restaurant was called Sushi on Five and we saw people in shorts and t-shirts in there too. So the uh, specialty restaurants on this particular ship are just smart casual. So shorts are accepted. I brought one pair of jeans, which I think I'm wearing home tomorrow. Okay. And I can't remember when I wore them. I wore them one other day this week and I'm wearing them home. So again, your fashion style. If you're a jeans person, bring jeans for, you know, th bring three, four pair of jeans because you're going to wear them every day, right? If that's just what you wear or depending on the weather, of course, if it's supposed to be warmer, you're not necessarily going to need long, thick jeans. I bought this pair in this color tan and black last year. They are fleece lined and they're kind of like yoga pants. They're a little tighter you know, through the waist and the hip area. And then they're larger, kind of a flare, you know, on the bottom. I hemmed them because I'm a shorty, um, but they might be perfect length for you. They're warm and comfortable, very stretchy again, kind of like yoga pants. I mean, look at this, this is a waist. Um, I really like these. Again, I will link these below. They also came, I think, in a gray maybe. Um, but again, I got them in the black and the tan. I already wore the black once and I never wore the tan. Another pair of pants that I got from Amazon recently, um, because I was looking for more like colored jeans or something a little unique that just wasn't a regular pair of blue jeans. And I bought these and these that I have on. So these are like little pockets and I've really liked them. I've worn, this is the first time I've worn the green ones this week. I wore these at least once and they're very comfortable. So I will link these below as well. I had one other pair, I think they're in the laundry, that was that were similar to this style of jeans that was also colored. And so I will link those below too. Those really came in handy because again, I could throw, you know, a waffle knit shirt and a vest, you know, on and be done for the day. You know, layers and be done for the day. So again, that was kind of my uniform. So you figure out your uniform. Okay, let's see if I'm done with pants. I think I'm done with pants, except for the topper. We did not use them this trip, but you absolutely need them in case you need them. They are waterproof pants. We wore them last year during our whale watching excursion because it was cold and water was flying because we were in a boat out on the water and we were heading across the water to find the whales. So these are mine. I will link them below too. They're just basic Alaska, Alaska, Alaska waistband, an expanding elastic waistband with pockets and cargo pockets as well. And they're very comfortable. They come in different colors also. And JJ also, we're not on his section, but as long as I'm talking waterproof, we ordered him a pair too. So, and his come, his come with a belt pockets up top and cargo pockets as well and uh, pockets in the back. Really came in handy. Last year we wore them with our thermals and then this over him. And it was perfect for a chilly, um, wet environment. So if you have some kind of 
excursion, you are maybe landing on a glacier, <laughs> okay? Or you're going in a boat out on the water. Even this year in our whale ex watching excursion, we wore, I wore my big puffy coat, which I'll show you coats and scarves and hats in a minute. So um, that's the one day that we actually did need warm clothing. We wore gloves because again, you're out on the water and the closer you get to certain areas, like we were getting close to Glacier Bay, I think they said. And so the wind temperature got colder, the water got, you know, everything just got colder. So we were glad. We did not wear our thermals ever a single time, but you need those two. And I'll show those to you in a second and, and we'll link ours below. You need those just in case, cause you just never know what the water's, what the weather's gonna be like. Okay. Um, the other pants that I brought were just casual pants for bumming around the, the ship or lounging around in the cabin. Let's see, these I got on Amazon as well and they are super comfortable. They are literally just, you know, like jog, jog pants. They have pockets up top and they have a light elastic, elastic band on the bottom. I think these also come in different colors. They were great. And these I wore almost all the time in the cabin, but you could also wear pants like both of these heading down in the morning to get breakfast to get coffee before you're going to breakfast um, or if you have an inside cabin or maybe just an ocean view cabin with a window and you actually want to go out on deck before you're ready for the day throw on something like this and head out to the deck and take a look at the views these are drawstring with pockets and i also got these on amazon they're just lounge lounge pants. If this video has been useful or informative, please hit the like button and subscribe for more cruise and travel information. We really appreciate it. Since we just talked about thermals, I will um, link below and let you know, um, you know, these are one of JJ's thermals. They're just thermals, right? Thermal underwear, right? I have a pair too that I got in white and black that came in white and black. So I will link his and mine down below in the thermal underwear section. So I'm gonna get started with JJ's clothes now and then hang around because we're going to do outerwear like our coats. Even though we didn't need most of them this time, we did last year and we were very grateful. Um, and then we'll go over shoes too. Okay, so JJ's tops. We got him a base layer of these zip up, quarter zip rather, base layer shirts. Um, last year, black and blue. I thought we got one more color. I think maybe we got burgundy. I think we got burgundy too. He's shaking his head behind the camera. And I did not bring the burgundy. He wore both of these this week. So they came in very handy. Keep in mind, they are very thin. So every, I'm just gonna say bump and bulge or whatever's going on, you know, on your upper torso men or women to think about your man, it's gonna show, okay? So this is literally a base layer to have like a vest, which I'll show you over, or like a flannel shirt or a button down or something over. Okay. And again, he wore both of those. We also last year got him these quarter zip fleece pullovers. We got it in black and burgundy. He wore them last year. He wore both of them last year. He wore neither of them this year. Again, it really is about the weather. So had I known, probably, had I checked the weather like Thursday, Friday, I probably would not have brought these because I would have realized he's already hot natured. He is not gonna wear fleece, even for a second layer. It's not gonna happen. So what he wore over those base layers and over t-shirts is button down flannel shirt. This is like an army green. He bought a navy. He has worn both of these. And then we bought, brought his plaid. He has a black and blue plaid, a black and gray plaid, and a black and blue plaid that's different than this black and blue plaid. <laughs> he wore all of them, didn't you? Did you wear all of them? Yes, he's shaking his head. He wore all of them at some point. Again, mainly over a t-shirt. And then he would, we would, we had to walk the deck from our front cabin, we're on deck eight and we're towards the front of the ship. And so we had to go up 
and then walk to the other end to get to the buffet. And so we had to walk across the deck to get to the buffet, which some days it was a little chilly, right? Even towards the cold end, right? So this would, these were perfect for him to just put over either one of those base layer quarter zip shirts or over a t-shirt. And then when he got to the buffet or MDR actually, he wore um, these to the MDR also, a main dining room for new cruisers. Um, and he would just take them off if he got too warm. So it was a good, these button down um, flannel. They're really thin flannel though. They're not the thick country flannel, farm flannel. <laughs> they're, they're city flannel. <laughs> okay, I mentioned we brought him t-shirts. We brought him four. I should have brought him seven for one for every day. Right, should have known. Looking at the weather is important. So he's wearing, and he's wearing one home tomorrow too because it's gonna be so hot when we get home. And he wore one on embarkation day. So he needed a t-shirt for every day. He also, we also brought him shorts, which he has a pair on today. Just regular cargo pants, okay? Shorts, right? Academy maybe. Uh, yeah, I bet it's Academy. So he brought, we brought him four pair, five count the ones you wore on embarkation day. But the ones to wear during the week, we brought him four, and he's worn two. Yeah, he's worn two of them. Because it was, I think, and you tell me if I'm wrong, I think he didn't wear more shorts because that the walk, the times that we are up on deck, it is chilly. I mean, we are in Alaska. It's just not cold. It's not puffy coat cold, right? But it's it also wasn't shorts weather for him like this morning was it this morning he had on jeans okay because it was a little chillier this morning and then this afternoon he came in and he's put on shorts okay so the pants that we brought for him were all cargo pants and then these are literally different colored jeans he got at academy we bought him a gray pair we brought him an army green pair and then the cargo pants we brought black and brown so four pair of pants and you've worn three. And then he'll wear another pair tonight for our dinner, our dinner date. Okay, so we brought four and he's worn three of the regular pants. Okay, t-shirts, yes, I already mentioned t-shirts. Okay, vests. <laughs> I was talking about being such a vest person. For JJ, we brought two fleece vests. And this is what I was talking about over the base layer, the quarter zip base layer shirts that these are that's columbia it's from amazon actually i'll link that one below they're both columbia so this is a darker gray and this one is a lighter gray literally zip up fleece vest with pockets and then last year i found him these puffy vests and i was so happy one of them was this navy blue one and it has a cool design inside right he did not wear this this year um this trip I think because it wasn't really cool enough, wasn't cold enough. And then I brought, I bought him this. I don't remember where I got this, but I was so happy because it still is a manly color, even though it's a cool color and he has never worn it, right? You've worn it one time at home. I think maybe I made him wear it one day to breakfast with his breakfast group buddies. <laughs> He's never worn it since. But generally he told me this morning, he said he would wear these. It just wasn't cold enough this trip. To wear them so if your man is a puffy vest man um this this was a good one this navy blue one with the design inside came in several different colors again i will link this one below from amazon let's talk outerwear okay the two hats that i love 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 okay this is a girl thing right i got this one last year and it has a little bill on it. And I wore this last year and I wore it again today. I'll show you a picture here of what it looks like on. It also comes in different colors. I loved it so much last year that I got another one this year. It's a different style, different brand. Oh, this is CC. You know the CC brand. I'm gonna show you a couple different CC hats. Knit, warm. This one again has a bill and I loved this color. This one also comes in many different colors. The other CC hat that I love is just a basic knit hat, but I just love this bright pink. And it comes with a matching um, forever scarf, you know, the round ones that are all connected. And this comes in many different colors as well. And I will link all of these below. The thing to remember, and I experienced this last year, is that I brought a couple of scarves last year and I did not wear a scarf at all because 
with all the layers I had on, plus my, the coats I'll show you, that zipped all the way up, I just didn't need it. One, and two, it would have been like a lot of bulk up around here. So I just really didn't need a scarf. So you might question whether you actually need a scarf. Again, it takes up room um, in the packing, and you might not need it at all. For coats, this is the puffy coat. I did wear, I wore both of those hats the off-white one and the blue one. I never wore the pink hat or the pink scarf. Again, just not cold enough. Um, this is my longer puffy coat, Amazon. It's Amazon Essentials, in fact, love it. It's got pockets on the outside and huge pockets on the inside, which is really helpful. It zips straight up and it's a little longer, so it'll come down over your hips, like comes about mid-thigh for me and it has a hood. And of course it's puffy, so it will, squinch up and roll up in a compression bag for you. JJ also has a puffy coat. It is almost exactly like that. It's a little shorter, obviously. It is also Amazon Essentials, black with a hood and with outer pockets. I will link that as well below in the men's section. JJ's favorite, favorite piece of outerwear that we found for him last year and that he wore last year and he wore this year. This was the only coat he wore this year, if he even took a coat. It is basically a windbreaker and it's the Wind Rider brand. And it, it's only this layer, right babe? It doesn't have a insert that comes in or out. It has pockets on the outside that are zip. And then it has a zipper up the middle and it has a hood. And he just thinks it's the perfect weight, especially if he has layers on underneath. He doesn't need a big puffy coat unless it's really, really cold like it's storming or something or he's gonna get really wet. But I think you actually wore this on the well watching last year. Right, because he had probably three layers underneath. He had his thermals and then a thin layer and then his like flannel shirt or something. And then he wore this over all that. So he didn't even need a big puffy coat. So I will link this below too. This is really, he wears this sometimes at home too when we actually have chilly weather. He really likes how it fits. And then my, coat, my big puffy coat, I did not wear this time. Actually, I wore this part of it. This is called a three-in-one coat because you can wear just the outer portion, which is a rain jacket. It has pockets on the outside that zip and it has a hood that comes off. It's detachable and it has a breast pocket up here. If it's really nice, it has these um, pulls so that you can kind of cinch up the waist also. And it is one layer, okay? So you can just wear the like windbreaker raincoat if you want. And then two of the three in one is the puffy inner layer. And this goes inside this, okay? <laughs> or you can wear this alone too. And this is all I wore this trip on our well watching excursion this time, which I was really glad I had. So this is just a straight zip up, but it also has pockets on the outside. So this goes inside this so you have one two and you put them together and you have three so it's called a three in one jacket or coat and this comes in different colors too it i really like how it fits it's a good length because it's long enough to kind of keep your legs warm as well and i will link this below also okay let's talk shoes winter boots will take up the most room in your suitcases what I took last year was a, almost a knee high, at least a you know high calf pair of snow boots that I had bought for a couple of trips we took to New York City in the winter in the past, and they were perfect last year. I had packed those this year and we were overweight on our bags and I was just like, I don't need these. <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't bring them. I took them out and I'm glad I didn't bring them. Again, weather. Weather dictates a lot of what you actually will need. And so, but those are nice. I will link those below. They are dream pairs and I got them on um, Amazon. I took out the insole that came in them and put another insole, a better insole in because for New York City, I knew we would be walking a lot. And actually during some of our excursions here for a week in Alaska, we actually also did a lot of walking. So those, um, Sometimes if you buy a less expensive pair of boots or shoes, you can put a better insole in them and it will improve your comfort level a little bit. Okay, so I will link those down below even though I don't have them. The next pair that I wore everywhere on this cruise 
are an ankle pair of duck boots. I have them on right now. I'm not sure you can see them, <laughs> but I will show you a picture here as well as link them below. They are extremely comfortable. Obviously they're waterproof. They're ankle level and so they come up a little bit. I can wear high winter socks with them. Um, and they're, they're just super comfortable. I wore them just like I'd wear a pair of tennis shoes. I've worn them all week and I wore them for every excursion that we had, including the whale watching where we got a little wet. Okay. The other shoes that I brought were a pair of shoes for dinner that I take on every cruise because they go with everything. They go with everything because they are clear. Yes, that's plastic. <laughs> this particular pair on Amazon also comes in different colors, like the bed might be orange or green. You know, you can bling it up a little bit if you want. But the reason I got this and why I take them on every single cruise is they are neutral and they literally go with every outfit. So I don't have to bring a black pair of heels, an animal print pair of heels, and a neutral pair of heels, right? I just bring this and I wear them with everything. So this is a, I think a three and a half inch heel. This also comes in like a kitten heel, like a one and a half inch heel. If you're not a tall heel gal. Okay. So I will link these below because they're very helpful for every cruise Caribbean or otherwise. Also, I brought my tennis shoes. JJ brought his tennis shoes. Um, we also brought gym wear. We did not go to the gym. But if you're a gym goer, obviously you're going to have leggings and you're going to have your, you know, whatever you wear to the gym normally. You're going to have that shoe as well, your tennis shoe. Also, it is very important to bring a some kind of house shoe or slide with a actual sole. That is because when you go out on your balcony, it might be cold. So if you bring those little sock house shoes, the bottom of your feet may actually get cold out on the balcony, okay? So bring a house shoe or a slide of some sort to wear around the cabin and out on your balcony um, because that'll keep your feet a little warmer. So I brought these. I also got these on Amazon recently, so I will link these below. It's just a literally a basic pair of slides with a Velcro strap up top. For JJ, we brought one pair of dress shoes because he wears UFOS tennis shoes now, O-O-F-O-S. We don't have a link or anything, but they're the most comfortable pair of tennis shoes he's ever worn. So he wore those, you wore your dress shoes one time so far? Right, and the rest of the, the uh, dinners, wherever we went, he was wearing his UFOS tennis shoes, which are solid black with the white, you know, sole around the edge. Um, and then we brought these, which are Cole Haan. They got a little brown stripe and the brown tongue and so we brought these for dress shoes because again, as you saw, all we brought were um, dress jeans or colored jeans or cargo pants. And I will show you also the button downs that we brought him to wear with the jeans or the cargo pants. So these were dress um, shoes that we brought him. They're Cole Hans. We got them on Amazon though, right? So they were very reasonably priced. These are JJ's UFOs. He just threw me one of the shoes because he has them on. These are his UFOs. He loves them. He yeah. would he would highly recommend. Get them on Amazon. He would highly recommend. Oh, you can get UFOs now on Amazon. I think so. Well, there you go. I will find a link and I will link them down below so you know where to start shopping for UFOs. He said it's the most comfortable shoe he's ever worn. And he has a slight, slight case of what's it called? Neuropathy? Yes. Peripheral, peripheral neuropathy in his feet. He didn't know what the problem was when it started. Anyway, this ended the problem. He no longer has that problem. Also, those were much more comfortable than his winter boot. <laughs> However, he loves these winter boots. He loved them at least last year because they were very warm and kept his feet warm. They're completely warm. In fact, I think waterproof is the word that these use. They are Nautica. We got them on Amazon. I will link them below. So he said, unfortunately, they're not as comfortable as his UFOs, but they are good and they keep his feet dry and warm. The other thing that we brought that we did not wear was swimwear. We kept talking about going to get in the hot tub, but we just never did because we were either working or 
you know, looking, looking to do other things, going to a show or eating, right? So we just never have gotten in the pool. If you're not a cold weather hot tub pool person, then don't waste time bringing swimwear. If you're interested in our Alaska vlogs from last year, check them out right here at this link. It's the entire playlist, including the Pact versus War video from last year. Thanks so much for joining us and be blessed.